My question to you was, oftentimes we see people saying that um, we're running from America, we are um, cowards, we are, uh, we should stay and fight and all of the things that we encounter when we're talking about um, repatriation or we're encouraging people to repatriate um, to Africa, um, even down to people saying that, um, you know the stuff they say, I, I'm, I'm not gonna even, how do you feel about those things? Like, I, I know you address it often um, on Facebook, but I would like you to address that. I think it's, it's cowardice to, to, to not to be able to be honest and admit that you're just scared. Right. Because with those same people who honor and uplift lift Harriet Tubman, say that to her if they were living during her time, would right. they have said that to Frederick Douglass and any other African that was trying to, uh, was attempting to be free? Would they say that to a military uh, POW who was trying to leave the uh, prison camps for freedom? Right. We, for the most part, are addicted to dysfunction on so many levels. So many levels. We try to justify it with all these things, like I'm not African, I'm indigenous, uh, uh, the slave ship shape, slave trade never happened because we ain't never seen no slave ship. Hey, I could say a whole lot of things that we believe in that we ain't never seen, but we believe in them. Ooh, honey. <laughs> the fact of the matter is most, most black folk are afraid to leave the white man's tits. And what I say the white man's tits, I mean to be dependent upon them for sustenance. We're afraid to rely upon each other. We're afraid of the idea of self-reliance. We're afraid of the fact that our ancestors post-slavery had more intestinal fortitude than them and they had so many things to deal with compared to what we deal with now. Yet they had more, they made more strides towards self-reliance and independence than we do now. Yeah. The yeah. problem is most of us are comfortable complaining and bitching about people that are not going to change. Right. We claim to be scholars and conscious on this and that. Whether they, cl I could go through the different uh, titles we are, but I'm not going to do that because they know who they are. Exactly. The one that hollers is the one that got hit because the ones that's going to complain about this are the ones that got hit. Absolutely. The fact is, how can you be conscious and be comfortable being oppressed? We marching, whether you want to do pre peaceful protests or, or, or march with the guys with the guns. You are trying to get a lion to be a domesticated cat. It makes exactly. no sense. Exactly. We don't want to use that energy to come back home because, see, we claim to be knowledgeable, but we're the most ignorant so-called knowledgeable generation that yet we have access to so much information but do not understand history. This is why... We, we all need to take a course in Professor Small's course of knowledge of history because we don't understand that colonialism is just another form of slavery. So we look at Africa as something different and their plight is something different. Yes, it may have manifested differently, but it's the same thing. Right, absolutely. We don't understand that. Like for example, a lot of us believe that to come to Africa, I have to become just like those that are born here or I have to get rid of everything that I've acquired throughout generations because I'm back in Africa now. No, not everything that we've learned and acquired is bad. Right. Some of the things are necessary for our development because Absolutely. if we built America, we built it for them, why not use those skills, that education, those experiences to build our mother? Exactly. Here's another component. 
us, all of us spiritual people always talk about the father. We pray to the father. We pray to the father. The, the, the idea of a father is a moot point and irrelevant if there's no existence. There's no of a mother. Where's the mother? The mother is nature. The mother is the land. Well, after all, we call it Mother Africa, Mother Nature. That's where we get our nourishment from. That's where we get our nourishment, just like in the home. Exactly. We need a mother and a father. The father provides. The mother nourishes. So it's that perfect balance. And we need our ancestors to guide us for wisdom. Exactly. So when we're void of that and inundated with just YouTube videos or books from people that just want to justify what we want to believe, we remain stagnant. And when you know anything that's stagnant smells because there's no movement. We're constipated with information. And so what happens is we freeze. We call my uncle called it the paralysis of analysis. We're overanalyzing things. And this is most, this mostly occurs with brothers. Yeah. Sisters look at situations, look, look, I ain't going, I'm getting out of here. You can stay if you want to. Exactly. And let's deal with the fighting situation. Please, let's deal with it. Where we're from, where we lived in Baltimore County, there's a major road called Liberty Road. Anybody from Baltimore knows. Liberty Road goes into the city, becomes Liberty Heights. Okay. It goes from Baltimore City to Baltimore County to Carroll County. One stretch. From Baltimore County, Roundelstown, there's a Walmart there. And that's mostly, it's majority black now. It used to be Jewish, but it's majority black. You go into that Walmart, you know, over there in a Walmart where they sell all like the fishing equipment. For the most part, you can go buy guns and bullets. Not at the black Walmart, but you go 10 miles up the road north towards Carroll County on the same road Walmart, you could buy guns and bullets. That's the white Walmart. That's the white Walmart. Where all these gun shows are, are in the white neighborhoods. You will not see a gun show in the hood. These white folks have been planning and militia and military training from childhood. Yes. While we on YouTube twerking and worrying about what the hell Cardi B is doing, worrying about Will Smith and Jada, they are planning. They know how to live off the gra- off the grass. They know how to know which grass to eat, which grass is for this and which that. Our ancestors knew that, but we don't know that. Yeah, they got stockpiles of weapons. They know yeah. how to make ammunition. They know how to use slingshots. They know how to make bombs. Shelter. Shelter. Yeah. They know. How to Camouflage, what we know. You know, what you're saying that is so true because back um, some years ago, I was taking Krav Maga, and the only instructor that I could find was this white guy. Yeah. And, and he, the whole class, it was two people in there that was three. It was three people in there that was black. Me, my friend, and then this um, black cop. And most of them in there, they had the, it was men, women, and their teenage daughters. Um, they were teaching from, they was teaching everything. Sure. And literally, like, they had a whole simulation area set, set up where they would simulate different uh, situations, and you had to go in and and work that situation. Like literally they'll have like half of the class will go and like hide in this house and you would have to go in the house like you were looking for stuff and they would might they might jump out and attack you. Right. And you had to be able to defend yourself and grab stuff at the same time. This is what these people was doing. Thank you. And these people they would like invite us out to they had like bunkers and stuff out in the country. And I'm like, no, thank you. Just I learned this part. I'm not going out there. But they had everything. They told us where to get weapons from for the Lolo, where to get ammunition from, all different kinds of ammunition. Like it was ammunition, like um, shotgun pe- um, shells that had different kind of pellets and stuff in it. Like I learned so 
much okay. stuff from them. And Perfect. I don't know no black people who know this kind of stuff. None. Perfect example. None. Remember the movie Rambo? Mm-hmm. Remember when, that, when, when Sylvester Stallone went out in the woods? Mm -hmm. He can turn stuff in nature into weapons. Exactly. How many of us know that? We exactly. don't even want to go out in the woods because of flies. And spiders. And spiders, mosquitoes, <laughs> and snakes. And we want to, and, and look, look here. We talking about we ready to fight. Why George Zimmerman's ass still walking around? If you about to make me just run around this room. <laughs> I we can't even well, with that. I swear on everything I love. I have said so many times, y'all talking about y'all ready to fight, y'all ready to do this, but when these people kill our children, our men and our women, they getting, a, George Zimmerman is walking around still today signing bags of Skittles, signing Confederate flags. He has become a millionaire off of yeah. a black, off of taking a black child. This wasn't even a grown man. He took a black Child, yeah. we won't even protect our children and let alone our women. And, we, oh my god, don't even get started on the women. Look, Malcolm said it you come at us, we taking 10 of yours. See, exactly, if we were serious about warfare, then I would take y'all serious as a viable exactly. option. Exactly, but there ain't nobody serious, they just talking loud and saying nothing. They're exactly. getting these little powwows on Saturday, their little temple meetings. When they little powwows talk, getting hyped like they had a football game and go out there and get, get lose. Don't even score one touchdown. Because yeah. we ain't doing nothing. First of all, we got to understand warfare. They got a system backing them up. Yes. They got the police department backing yes. them up. Exactly. They got finances. They joined the military not to get, get a, um, um, an education grant. They go in there to get skills. Exactly. We go in there so we can get a grant, so we can get a job. They go there to learn, and then they join the police departments. Or they form their militia. Thank you. Yep. And they listen, the militia groups have quadrupled in number and membership. If not more. And the exactly. thing, I was watching a story today, this morning on CNN where they were talking about how um, the militia group they did a study exactly. where the militia groups and the police are one and the same. The they they because um the 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 story that just happened where the um the thirteen people was arrested for plotting right. on this governor. The the sheriff said that well we don't know if there'll be um they may not have a legal problem here because if they were trying to arrest someone for felony in, in this state you still have a right to make a citizen's arrest well you know what go back and look at the foundation that Thomas Jefferson wrote when he starts off we behold these truths to be self-evident part of it is to be able to overthrow a government absolutely See, the whites understand these things we don't because number one, when he, when Thomas Jefferson wrote that, when he penned that, we weren't even included in that because we weren't even it considered human beings. So exactly. what the hell are we fighting for? What are we fighting for? And 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 I, it it really bothers me the idea that oh our ancestors died for this. No, our ancestors died trying to survive. Right. They didn't die. They they was fighting for human rights. Exactly. Yes. Many, I, mean, I don't think people even understand how many, how many of our ancestors actually were desperately trying to get back home. Like right. they were trying to stay here and, and, and they stayed because they didn't have any other way. Every time we tried to get the hell away from here, they foiled the plan. Exactly. If they, they do this, oh, go back to Africa, go back. To, but every time we try to go back to Africa, they try to figure out a way to stop us. Look, every time there's been a movement, a progressive movement for black or African consciousness, it was interrupted by something. In the 60s, it was interrupted by, um, um, what was it, um, affirmative action 
which allowed us to be able to get Cadillacs and move out into the county. Exactly. So because we got comfortable, we said, hey, we ain't got to worry about that no more. Then in the late 80s, early 90s, hip hop became very conscious. You yeah. had they were wearing medallions, they were wearing the hot tops, they were wearing um, kufis. The sisters Everything. were coming out with all kinds of conscious lyrics. The crack epidemic came in and in, 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 in prison industrial system escalated because mass incarceration came in. It interrupted it. Exactly. Then all of a sudden, here we go now, and we have, uh, social media has got people to the point that we can't even talk no more because we'd rather do this. We can't have civilized uh, con uh, confer uh, uh, um, conversations. We can't even have uh, dialogue whether we disagree or not without wanting to fight because we're so used to texting. Exactly. We can't we even say We've lost that human connection, which is one of the reasons why I like to actually have a conversation with people. Right. Like you see a lot of people on, on YouTube or whatever social media, they're talking. I'm like, who are you talking to? You're just talking to yourself? Yeah. Like, you know, I understand where we, we're trying to disseminate some information. I get it. But you can't talk to just yourself all the time. We have no. to be able to exchange ideas with each other, which leads me to our community in Ghana. How is that? Because I know a lot of people um, contact me and they're really disappointed by um, what they expected. They expect that there's going to be this very conscious move um, as we as we are doing this um, repatriation journey. Um, and a lot of people are disappointed. A lot of people are disappointed. How do What's you- What's the dynamics to that? Hmm? One, is a few dynamics to that. Mm -hmm. um, number one, we're not all in a centralized location. And then people respectfully come for different reasons. You have a lot of the elders that preceded us. They came for retirement. And Candace always shares that with me because we get frustrated. We've been frustrated. Me, maybe more so than her. Right. But it was like, you know, why haven't y'all paved the way? But that maybe is not their mission. Right. But those of us now that have come and marched to a different beat is not to disrespect them. Right. But we're trying to blaze the trail, a new trail. And, 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 but we have to create a place, a safe space where we can have community. Right. Maybe it could be a pocket of us in, in a bree in the mountains, a pocket of us in some other location. Right. But we have to create these things where right. we could just not only live together, but economically support each other. Absolutely. And create industry. Yeah. By which something that's unique to us. Every if you you know Spintex, yeah. Spintex is a major road here in Ghana for you guys that don't listen. I mean that are on here listening or watching. But up and down that road, most of the businesses are owned by Lebanese. Absolutely. They run those things that's and they like, support that's each other. their community pretty much. Exactly. But most of us are just into the socialization part. We don't know how to organize. And that's just a matter of fact. That's true. So it's going to take a new breed of us coming forth, um, bringing these new ideas that make sense. And some of you all that are contemplating um, repatriation, you could be part of that to create this new channel. Sometimes it's easy to sit back and point out what doesn't exist when in fact you may be the one that may be the one that's supposed to create that, to make it exist. We have to become solution oriented and seeing that the challenge that exists today is an opportunity to create solutions. Yeah, I think for the most part, we're, we're really reactionary in how we do things instead of um, proactive and um, I think I share that same bit of frustration that you have with the those that came and they've been they've been in Ghana for 20, 30 years. And you're I'm like, okay, so what was the what was the goal 
in those 20 or 30 years. Like it's people who've been there 20, 30 years and don't even have citizenship. I know. And you just got citizenship with everybody else? Right. Like really? Like you just did that last year or the year before that? Like what, what are we doing? Do we not understand that um, being a, a Pan-African, and maybe these aren't Pan-Africans. I, I, maybe that's not. Because being a Pan-African, there's a political component to that. And we have to, We it's like we want, we since we're talking about Ghana, we want Ghana to give us, they should be giving us citizenship. They should be giving us this. They should be giving us land. They should be giving us, giving us, giving us, giving us, Right. That is not how things work. No. No way. We simply doing if you've been there 20, 30 years, if you had your citizenship, got involved in the um, political process. Some people should have been involved in being uh, an assembly man or something of something of that nature, being involved and showing that, hey, we know that there's possibly going to be a lot of us making this transition. We need to make it easier for those who come in, who are coming behind us. And you, you find, I find myself just getting, being frustrated. Like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. Like I, I'm just not dealing with this. I found, I got myself, I got in Ghana and I got involved. Um, and all you, all they do is have meetings and bicker and bicker and bicker, and bicker and bicker. And I'm like, and these are old folk doing this. Yeah, yeah. We ain't talking about younger. No, and, and, we talking about old people. And, and you know something, this. we kept, we were being invited to several different organizations, and we're like, we're the young people. How can you have new ideas and young people aren't involved? You can't. And then you have Ghanaians that want to be involved to help the repatriation process. They love the diaspora. They see our work. And yeah. you don't want, to want, want them to be members? Oh, my God. Don't even get me. So, we, so you know, <laughs> our thing is this. We will come and support any, any group. But as soon as we see a bunch of drama and BS, we're gone. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what has happened for me. Um, I had gotten involved in a few, um, I tried one that didn't work. I tried this one that didn't work. Uh Like, because um, something as simple, like one of of the um, sisters that I've interviewed um, about a week ago, she was saying how she went to the, one of the organizations I'll say, and they had a fish fry. And she was like, girl, they was just arguing and fussing and carrying it was just they just carried on and you she was like it was a it was an hour and I still hadn't got my, my fish and it was just like what is going on like you expect so much more from the community especially these older people um because at, you know I came in and I would be my elders my elders my elders and I've come to realize that a lot of people are not elders a lot of people are yeah they're they're old people and yep. that's okay Say that's it all okay the time. because you know it's like they don't want to hear this the what may work like okay if you've been here 30 years what whatever you was doing that didn't work so let's try something new you can uh advise but you got new and young people coming in who have really good ideas Mm -hmm. like literally myself and a few other young people we had gotten together and we was trying to help push one initiative we was literally literally this close and they was doing stuff like arguing over the meeting we would have a whole meeting and then here comes someone with oh well y'all didn't follow robert's rules of order oh (laughs) it sounds familiar you mean to tell me 
if that is what you felt like we need, why during, why is it in the early part of the meeting? Why did, first of all, why didn't you chair the meeting? Right. You could have made sure we followed these Roberts rules of order, but, but more than anything, why do y'all feel like we got to fight? We got to follow these white people rules. Thank you. If we can have a productive meeting, let's just have a productive meeting. But they rather meet so they can schedule a next meeting to meet. If you don't come up, see, <laughs> I can't stand it. I hate it. I'm, I'm because I'm the type of person who, okay, let's talk about it. Let then let's plan about it. And, and even if it. the plan ain't completely sussed out, let's go ahead and start, and we'll figure it out along the way. That's why ain't nothing done. And look. The same, the same mindset is why we stuck on stupid in the States. Absolutely. Look, I say this all the time and, you know, some people get uncomfortable with, with it, but some people just need to go on and be with their ancestors. It's true. It is. It's Seriously. Here and there. It's true. Seriously. Yes. Seriously. My uncle... My dear uncle in Decatur, Georgia, who's a straight up revolutionary, he said, revolutionary comes, some of us got to go because they in the way. Absolutely. And that's a fact. It's, it's a hard fact because if we, don't, if we don't deal with cleaning ourselves up first, how can we move forward if we got to be dragging this dead weight and this old outdated mindset along the way? Because the young generation doesn't want to deal with that. We yeah. deal with the young generation every day. They don't want to deal with that. Don't know don't nobody have time for that. And mm -hmm. and and what I think what bothers me even more is I'm like, I don't have the time to waste. I have four children. I right. can, I have the time to come to a meeting and start planning. And let's get let's get this thing moving. But I don't have time to go to meeting after meeting after meeting. After. I don't have time for that. Yeah. I have to tend to my family also. And I think that a lot of these people don't don't they can't seem to wrap their mind around the fact that a, a lot of the new repatriates are younger people with families. Right. We're not coming as retired. We still got to figure out how to make some money. Right. We still gotta. We gotta have. Make sure we have somewhere to somewhere to sleep. Somewhere some food to eat. We have to still. We don't have a pension. Ain't no pension coming for me. Right. I'm never gonna get a pension. If I ever do get a pension, it'll probably be like a hundred dollars a month. What mm -hmm. am I gonna do with that? Social security, exactly. So when when yeah, social security. What am I gonna do with that? Nothing. So I I am still actively trying to build the the foundation for my small family and be a be be a part of building the foundation for the collective. Right. I don't have time to be playing. Right. So you know I love that you're there and you are one of I consider you even though you're not an old man, I do consider you an elder. I appreciate that. An elder is somebody who can who can think, who can look at the situation and say, okay, now these young people right here, they might have some good ideas. How can we implement these ideas? Right. And That's to help, how help to get the thing moving. I'm like, y'all can't even, y'all don't even have the strength it takes. Use the young folks right. and, and use their ideas. Yes. Half of them don't even know how to use a phone correctly. Right. So Queen, let me tell you something. The fact is, <laughs> you feel me. <laughs> a lot of the a lot of the old folk are very clickish. If My you're not God. Behind, you're out. We had, it was a lady that said she's known here. A, a brother um, who who since is deceased. Uh, share with her some of the great things that we were trying to do with the young people. She said, well, who are they? They ain't doing nothing unless they come through me first. I'm like, well, who the hell is she? Brother, let me tell you. And, and you know something? It's that part, right? That type of stuff is frustrating because it they is. 
love pomp and circumstance. Absolutely. They love uh, people to bow down to them and they love to be at the head table and love to show up at the end to eat the cake like in Little Red Hen. They mm -hmm. don't want to be part of making the cake and getting the ingredients, but they want to be there when the cake is made yes. to get all the glory. Yes, and everybody wants to they name to be like, bro, I'm, I'm that person who I don't care. You don't, don't nobody even have to know that I'm involved. Right. Going oh, to, to get done. Yes. Like, I don't, so they don't have to be about, it's not about me. It's about right. all of us. Yes. I'm going to put it out there. I ain't mentioning names, but you people can go on YouTube. When all these young entertainers were here, mm -hmm. why was it just the older folk hosting them. They couldn't look around and see who's buying my music. I don't see nobody look like me. My, because you know this, when you go into an unfamiliar setting, you're going to look around, see if you see anybody you can identify you can with. can identify with, exactly. But if I'm seeing everybody look like they as old as my grandparents, and they just want to sit around and just talk and not show me and have real conversations, where a famous person like when T.I. came, he couldn't even have a conversation with a peer and say, hey, man, what's it like? What's this? What's, what's going on? Exactly. And see, that's, around here? that's the part that was so frustrating to me because I'm like, yeah. he can't, these people can't even, they can't identify with you. See, I'm my age. We 40 years old. Exactly. I, there's nothing besides uh, some reverence that I can, that I can even give to a person that's 70 years old you 60 70 years old what we gonna talk about besides right. i don't even know like i don't even know here you come uti i come up to you oh you that dude make that hippity hop music <laughs> <laughs> all outdated but see to me if i were in that position okay I could be the elder facilitating it, but I'm a damn sure have some younger people that have some sense that's going to be around to balance out the situation. To balance it out, exactly. Because real community consists of the elders, the young yes. people, and the children, men and women. Exactly. It can't be just men leading the way either. It's got to be representation of women. How are you in the <laughs> motherland ain't no women involved in leadership? That's why I don't let Seriously. things get done. Seriously, That's it's why not let get done because there's no balance. They Thank don't you. understand. We yes, we do need we need men for the the logical and the discipline type stuff, um, right? Keeping things in order type stuff, but we need women to to organize stuff and push things, and we, and we make it happen. Make it happen exactly. Women are gonna make it happen, especially black women from this country. Yeah. We gonna make it happen. We no doubt. We have 